I'm really excited to be organizing the Keystone meeting on cell competition in development and disease that's going to be occurring in February of 2019, along with my co-organizers, Thomas Zwaka from Mount Sinai School of Medicine and Laura Johnston from Columbia University. This is a brand new topic for Keystone Symposia. It's emerged out of a long history of thought in the concepts behind cell competition, which has really come out of model organism studies. And we have merged the, this historical field with new areas that have been coming out over the last five years or so that have come from the use of new technologies that have been applied to mouse and human embryology and from somatic cell studies. The concept is really that there are cells that are competing all the time in your body, both during development and, in fact, when you're older. The conference is really aimed at anybody who's interested in this field. We envision trainees of all levels, also faculty of all levels, but we're really trying to bring together a diverse group of investigators. I would say about half of the investigators in the meeting are going to be addressing fundamental questions and using model organisms um, to study these questions. But a good roughly half of the other investigators or maybe third of the investigators are interested in the relevance to human disease. One obvious area that many people are starting to think about is cancer. And over the past five years or so, we've come to an increased appreciation that any cancer is really a very diverse collection of cells. And one of the reasons cancers are so difficult to treat is because that collection of cells evolves very, very quickly, even in response to drug treatments. And so understanding how that evolution occurs and what that means for drug treatments is one area that people are thinking about in the context of cell competition and uh, the evolution of populations within bodies. On the other hand, there's also now increasing interest in how cellular diversity, even during embryonic development of humans, can affect the outcome in terms of, of the health of, of a young baby. And so there are certain genetic diseases that are appear to be the result of mosaicism, so some cells in the body having a genetic um, aberration or a difference, which then leads to cell competition in particular tissues, and so then this disease affects some tissues more than others. The uh, model organism people have been thinking about this area for really decades, and so I'm sure that some of the ideas, the fundamental ideas that they have in the field can influence the thinking of some of the more translational people. And vice versa, now that we all have examples from humans about from when the, where this really occurs, that may affect um, some of the fundamental concepts about co cell competition and, and cell cooperation, in fact. So we're hoping to really advance the field with new ideas, that's number one priority. And if we're fortunate, um, maybe this will become um, a bigger field as a result and, and could result in f future Keystone meetings as well. I'd like to really encourage in particular trainees to attend this meeting. I have found the Keystone meetings absolutely uh, formative for my own career development. I was a young postdoc when I first attended Keystone meetings and I attended many years during my postdoctoral development and in fact I can cite a Keystone meeting as the reason that I got my first job in academia because somebody suggested that there was a particular job opening that I should apply for. And then since I've been a faculty member, I've attended and spoke at many Keystone meetings almost every year, and now I'm chair of the Scientific Advisory Board. And there's many, many opportunities in Keystone meetings. It's very welcoming to uh, young trainees, trainees because uh, the meetings are relatively small. Trainees have the opportunity to talk to senior investigators in the field. It's a good way to identify new postdoctoral mentors or uh, opportunities for uh, job openings in the future. And I think it's just been a fantastic uh, career development uh, venue for people of all levels.